So Parkinson's disease is the second uh, most common neurodegenerative disease. And uh, there are about 130,000 people suffering from this disease in the United Kingdom alone. The rate of people suffering from this disease is about to increase by 28% uh, by 2020. Parkinson's disease patients are treated uh, with medications, but as time passes, those medications become less and less uh, effective, and at that time, surgical procedures become feasible options. So uh, surgical uh, procedures include deep brain stimulation and uh, uh, lesioning procedures. So deep brain stimulation is a technique when they stimulate the deep brain structures to alleviate uh, Parkinsonian symptoms. They electrically stimulate um, the thalamic structures for treating Parkinsonian symptoms. So deep brain stimulation has uh, undergone serious improvement uh, over the last 20 years. However, today continuous uh, electrical stimulation is applied, which might uh, contribute uh, to tissue damage on long term and uh, depletes the battery in about two to five years. And my work is uh, researching ways to make this treatment uh, more targeted in terms of when and where um, we stimulate the brain. Just imagine a fire alarm system. When there is a fire, it starts to sprinkle water. This is uh, a good analogy of what we want to achieve. We just need to stimulate the tissue when it's necessary. We want to get rid of the continuous stimulation. We are creating a device which is uh, fully implantable and that can record the electrical activities of many um, neurons at the same time. And uh, it finds patterns in the neural activity generated by these neurons. And we use this, um, these neural patterns as an input signal um, to a chip that can start the um, stimulation. The advantage of our solution is that it reduces the power consumption of the device. So it, the battery doesn't have to be replaced in two to five years. Uh, we are extending the battery life and, 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 and potentially there is less side effects uh, associated with this technique. This will be the next generation of neurostimulators, uh, which we hope uh, will significantly improve the life quality of patients suffering from Parkinsonian disease. Novel solutions and breakthroughs are required for uh, achieving our goals, especially uh, finding reliable patterns in the neural activity that can trigger the stimulation, as well as minimizing the uh, footprint of the implantable electronics. The fast pace uh, development of this field in the, f in the last 15 years make me uh, optimistic that we can achieve our goals.